So here, Robert Scoble, what's up? We're at Display Week, <laughs> seeing all sorts of crazy augmented reality glasses, uh, really bright little tiny chips. 150,000 to 300,000. I think you said you saw a, a 1 million nit uh, little chip that shoves a lot of light into glasses, into the edge of glasses. So we're going to see a whole bunch of AI driven glasses in the next 18 months from a variety of manufacturers. And they're going to be lightweight. They're going to last all day. They're going to answer your questions and they're going to do things visually with you. And they're going to be pretty cool. And everybody's going to buy them. <laughs> so, how, how, how you. Um, how are you enjoying the the X? I got a I got a tour from you, man. I saw all the cool shit in like 20 minutes, and I put it up on X.com. How, how do you like the Elon Musk things in the X? How's it going? Everything's all right, you know. Could it be better? Yeah, Grok Grok has many things that needs to be done, right? I can't ask Grok to unfollow you. It doesn't know how to do that. It needs to do do that before it gets to glasses, because in glasses we're going to be asking Grok and ChatGPT and a Gemini and uh, uh, and Siri, hopefully for ears for Siri. <laughs> <laughs> They're just gonna partner with the ChatGPT no, guys. Oh, they have a whole. They have their own thing. They have their own thing coming and a partnership. So. They're going to fill in a lot of the pot. So finally, Siri is going to understand what people say? Um, I'm just joking. <laughs> we have to pray every <laughs> night, every morning, pray for a Siri that understands everything. How yes. good was that chat? Chat GPT 4.0. That was How really, good does that look? That shows you what a large language model that's a multimodal, multimodal, which means that the camera has smarts. Everything it looks at, it knows about. Right. It looked and fake so, to me. It looked no. like the voice was too good. No, I don't get it. How can it be said that good? It's really like this. It sounds like her, they right? They made a model that might not be quite as accurate in all the places, but it's fast. So it spits out answers in 20 milliseconds and has a conversation with It you. whispers to you. It sings all these weird things. It can do a little emotion, emotional manipulation like a human being does, right? You know? We're so close to record. Whispering. <laughs> it's, it's so, we're so close to just recording your voice and your face and being the AI. It's gonna happen, right? You see, Apple just announced eye sensors on iPhone 18. Oh. 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 oh whoa. Siri's gonna know what yeah. you're looking at, so don't be checking that out. <laughs> so I've been doing videos about the ARM laptops for 15 years, yeah. but Apple has really shown people, right? Yeah. These ARM laptops, so and smooth. Guess what? They call it Apple Could, Silicon, but it's ARM. People have no idea. I just bought an M3 processor, 21. 21, almost a quarter of that chip is for neural inferencing, for AI inferencing. And I'm the number one AI influencer in the world, and that part of the chip in my house, the, it's been in my house for three years, these M1 chips, that part is cold in my house. It's waiting for something to do. It's bored, because that part of the chip has so much computer vision power. It was built for the autonomous car and they haven't turned it on. <laughs> what kind of company, Jarvox, what kind of company ships multi-billions of dollars worth of semiconductors to everybody's house and doesn't turn it on? And Qualcomm too. I think Qualcomm has yeah, three, Qualcomm three, four have, billion chips out they there. Don't, they don't have the neural. That okay, Apple maybe has. it depends. But all the, the, I these guys have so much chips. chips and if yeah. they suddenly decide to turn them on while you charge yeah. to do like a steady at home kind of thing, do, they will have more computing power than everybody else. Back here, making a computer displays that's really bright. He said it could get brighter with a software upgrade. So you're going to get your glasses one day, and all of a sudden they're going to get brighter because some software upgraded the chips that's running the glasses. It's crazy. Did Google launch a Google Glass again yesterday, or what did they, they do? They sort of showed it off a little, a little uh, demo of talking to your AI and your glasses. That's what's all coming next year, right? That's what this show's about. The, these glasses, these little displays, are coming along to use less power have a bigger field of view, i.e. like the one that's in the uh, Snapchat glasses is like a 10 degree field of view, very narrow. These are bigger, right? And maybe not completely wrap around until you get a heavier device. Like you said, there's one device back here that has two of them stitched together in a heavier display for watching movies at home. But we're talking about glasses like this that you can wear all day long. Right. And so that's what's coming. Usually I don't really like um, Mark Zuckerberg so much, but I actually yeah. kind of like the trolling video he did with the Apple Vision. That oh, was yeah, kind of yeah, cool, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, he had a point. He had, he a, had point. a point. He should have made a different point, which is we know a lot of rich people are going to buy the Apple no matter what, because there's a lot of fanboys like me who will only buy the Apple. And I'm sorry, I'm not buying the Zuckerberg one. 
he could have said, we're going to put Horizon on both and join the, uh, the customers together. But no, he decided to pick a fight. And it's like, why did he do that? He could have made a point, you know what? Whether their product is better or not, a lot of people are going to buy it. Eventually, a lot more are going to buy it. I better put Horizon Worlds on both. And then I would have thought he's a great guy, but no. And my point was that the Google Glass should have been in the shop. It should have been in the shop. People would have bought it 10 years ago. Well, but how about Android? Is that going to be a platform for AR, VR? Or are they just going to wait, sit back, and what are they doing? No. All right. So Apple has to show the world how it's done first. Then the Androids can come in afterwards. Because the Android doesn't have stores, right? You go to, If you live in Barcelona, Spain, for instance, where do you go to go look at new things? Do you go to the Sunglass Hut? which is what Essilor owns, which is what owns, which is the owner of Ray-Ban, which is the partner of Zuckerberg with the Meta Glasses, right? Are you going to go to a sun, sunglass hut to see a new pair of one of these newfangled AI glasses that's coming out here at Display Week? No, you're going to go to the Apple Store, because the Apple Store is where you go to see new shit like that in America or in the Western United world, right? The richer part of the world, right? So Apple has to do it. Then Google can say, oh, we do the same thing, but we do it with uh, more AI, because our AI is better than Apple's AI, right? We, we can, you're going to see this war, and then Meta's going to go, yeah, but we got open source models running the AI, right? And Open source always wins. Well, a lot of people are excited about the Llama 3 models that Zuckerberg's building, right? He has three. You should merge 000. together with the XAI. You know, Zuckerberg that's also open source. Three hundred thousand Nvidia cards and data centers. That's a lot of compute to build some models, right? So I would expect that Zuckerberg is going to have models that you're going to want to run as your assistant, right? Uh, at least underneath. You might not know that it's running underneath, but that's probably the developer's going to make that choice for you. Oh, let's go with a Llama 3 open source model because we can do things with the model that we can't do with OpenAI. And it's cheaper if it's running in your phone, in your pocket, right? For the developer. And that's what's coming. It's, hey, let's do some AI in the pocket, talk to the glasses, show things in the glasses that the AI is generating on the phone in the pocket. So you're friends with Elon Musk. Is he an alien? Oh, you would yeah. know, right? Yeah, yeah. Is he an alien or what? He drives fast. <laughs> he drives fast? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He gave me a ride in his first Tesla. I got, I got the first ride in the first Tesla. You give me a ride because I was filming it on a Nokia phone. That's how long we have been doing this shit, isn't it? <laughs> have, you, have you seen the Starship launch? Did you go to Texas to no, check it out? I, are you, where, when are you going? I don't know, man. I saw the last shuttle launch and I... I you know, 32 engines, that must be loud. <laughs> Got to have some yeah. hearing protection for that. <laughs> He's, uh, I mean, uh, I want to go and see it. These cool. starships are going to be nice if they work. We're going to Mars, right? But we can see it in our displays here at Display Show, right? That's the thing. You're, you're showing me these little tiny displays that are really sharp, really bright. Well, we can fake going to Mars for everybody. You don't all have to go to Mars. You can send your robot to Mars and embed yourself in the robot with a pair of glasses. Your AI show is so cool, but I'm, I'm getting scared. Like, maybe soon you're just going to click a button. It's going to be an AI running your button. show. I'm going to talk it to looks it. Hey, AI, uh, go get me a Diet Coke. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. In five years, are we? do we have a, a humanoid robot following us around, carrying our gear for us? Cause because we're old. We're getting old, man. You, I don't you, know about you. My back is getting old. You're editing your I gotta show. Have, I got to have a, a humanoid robot walking my cameras around. You, so. You're editing your show to take out the spaces and stuff a little bit in the voice sometimes, right? And it, it does make the it look... Does that? It does make it look like it's AI. Oh, yeah, yeah, Isn't that cool? A little bit like Max Headroom because I'm yeah. getting words cut out of me. You know, yeah, yeah. You change yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, in Descript, you can bring this video into Descript, which is an AI tool. It builds a text transcript automatically, and then you can copy and paste words and make me say shit that I didn't say. <laughs> so, are, are, are you going to vote for Kennedy? Uh, are you voting I, for RFK? I'm voting for. There, you can put whatever word you want. I'm just want. joking. You don't like talking too much about politics, right? Not too much. Not generally. But there is I a can. bunch of... I have, here's one, since you're holding a camera. I have pictures of the last presidential candidate sex scandal going down. And when I shot the pictures, I had no idea. Oh, nice. Yeah, I had no idea I had an international news story happening right in front of me either. Oh, cool. Which taught me always be shooting pictures and video. 
you never know what's going to happen next. But one little thing that I want to see is for TikTok that has some trouble with some of the US stuff and the uh, X well, and the, know, all these other apps. China they could blocks our social media from working. The Chinese kids can't get on Facebook. No, that's blocked by the firewall. Well, we're like doing the same thing back to them. <laughs> okay, okay. But I'm thinking X, for example, yeah. and TikTok should just integrate built-in VPN in the app. So it should be a free VPN. Ooh. If you're in a country that has it blocked, oh, here, here. it would just still work. That kind of talk would get you uh, put in prison in some countries. Oh, shit. Maybe I shouldn't <laughs> post it on YouTube? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> you're in America. You can talk like that in America. But in some countries, that would get you arrested and uh, put in jail for a few weeks. America is an amazing country where the, the smartest people are, but also some uh, less smart. Right? And, it's a, it, it, you have the whole spectrum. And we have the right to go to a Bass Pro Shop and buy a gun. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, but there's no guns in this show here. Maybe not, but uh, soon you're going to have virtual ones in your augmented reality glasses, you know? Hey, play some new Call of Duty. You know, in one of these things at the shopping mall, I was my wife and I were holding $10,000 haptic guns, you know? Oh. So augmented reality cool. can get serious. But that's awesome. It's so cool that <laughs> it's so cool you're doing so much content. It's awesome. I, I think a lot of people are enjoying what yeah. you're posting, right? I love, I love you, man. All right. Thanks. Uh, thanks nice thanks to see you. Tour. Thanks for the tour. It was great. We saw a lot of displays in 25 minutes. Go watch them.